We are doing an arrays mock test for grade 11 IT. And in the previous video, we did question one. This is going to be for question two. Um, so let's get into it. So first of all, just a recap of what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a parallel array. One of the arrays has the names of soccer teams and the other one has their results where the first little bit is the number of wins and the second little bit after the comma is the number of draws. Um, and it's a parallel array. So that team achieved those results. So it's corresponding values in each array. Okay, so that's the one we're dealing with. We did a search to see if the team exists in the previous question. Now we're going to deal with a display. We want to display all the details from the teams and the results array in a format where we have the team name, the number of games won, the number of games drawn, how many games they lost, and the points. Now that's weird because we only have the number of games won and drawn. So let's see how we get the lost and points here. So we can get that from the arrays, correct? the games lost okay so obviously they play 38 games in a season and if they've only won that many and drawn that many then whatever's left over will be the, the games they lost okay we can calculate that and then their points they get three points for a win and they get one point for a draw and they get no points for a loss so we're going to take however many games they won multiply it by three and the number of games they drew and multiply it by one we'll just leave it like it is and add those two together to get the points for the season Okay, and so they give me an example of what it must look like. Oh, so it must be all nicely spaced out. Okay, so let's get into it. So let's go to our program. Boom, here we go. This is our program. We're dealing with the second question. And just to recap, here are two arrays. They've been pre-populated for us. And there is our team count values in the array. We can't assume that it's full to 25. We're just going to know that it goes up until our team count. Okay, so let's go to display. Now, it's very nice of them. They've done a nice little rich edit paragraph tabs they've set the tabs for us so it can be nicely laid out so if i actually see what it looks like if i run it you can see it's all nicely laid out the headings for us so we're going to put the values under those headings using some hash nine so we're going to loop through this array so we're going to use a for loop that goes from one to however many elements are in the array and that is our team count now we need to have an R variable. Now they've given me some variables at the top here, which is nice. They've given me a wins, draws, losses, points. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. And we're going to have a begin and end. Okay, because we're going to be doing a lot of stuff in this for loop. Okay, so the first thing, let's break it down step by step. We want to display the team name. So I'm going to say rich edit display dot lines dot add and we're going to add the name of the team so we're going to go to array teams and get position r our loops going one two three four let's make it a small r so we can see the difference one two three four and we want to display it now that's an array of strings so we don't need to convert anything so we just do that and we're going to go play let's say look let's take it column by column to see if it works boom boom, boom. Okay, so we display the log. Okay, so we got the first bit right. That's nasty laid out. Now we need to get the wins. Now the wins is from the results array. And it's that first of, that's the, the string for Lincoln FC. We want to extract whatever's before the comma. Before the comma. So we're going to extract it. Now I'm going to actually store that string in a particular, just because we're going to be using it a lot. So I'm going to say um, S results. S result type string I'm just putting it into a variable so that I can save how much I type so we're going to extract whatever's in the results array at position R because we're dealing with position one the first time so I get the results and that would look something like a 30 comma 3 that's what the result would look like now I want to get the number of wins so I'm say R wins is equal and now what we're going to do we're going to say okay let's copy from s result see it says me having to type that all the time okay from s result starting at position one and we want to copy from one we don't know if it's going to we don't know if it's going to be a two digit number or it could be a one digit number so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy from one till the position of the comma so the position of the comma in s result are oh, you see now why it's so much nicer to have s result in a separate variable so i don't have to type that every single time i'm doing this so find the position of the comma so in this case the position of the comma is three so we want to copy from one we don't want to copy till three we want to copy till two so the position of the comma minus one 
So copy from this string, copy from one to the position of the comma, back off a little one. There we go. So we got the 30, but that is a string and we want to put it into a number. Now you might say, why are you wanting a number? We're going to be just displaying it in this rich edit. Well, we're going to have to use that number in its number format so that we can do some calculations. So I'm going to convert this from a string to an int. And that would be my number of wins. Okay. And then over here, we can say plus a hash nine. And now we're going to display the wins. Ah, wins. But remember, we're displaying it. This only takes a string. So that's a string. That's fine. This needs to be a string. So we're going to convert it from an int to a string. Okay, so let's see how that works. Boom, boom. Display. Oh, there we go. It looks nice and pretty and all nice and aligned. Now we're going to do the draws. The draws will be very similar, except for we copy in a different part. So our draws is a variable that's been declared for me. We're going to copy from S result. But in this case, we're going to start after the comma. So we're going to say the position of the comma in S result plus one. I don't want to start copying a position three. I want to start copying a position four. And how many characters? Well, it's whatever's left over, I'm assuming there's never going to be more than a two digit number. But I'm um, just to be sure I'm going to make it a five digit number. It doesn't really matter because there's nothing left afterwards. So we're going to copy from the string starting at the position of the comma plus one plus one. So there for five characters or whatever it is there we can copy. But that's going to return a string. We want it as a number. So we're going to convert it from a string to an int. And then we can display it. So over here we're going to go. OK, let's say plus another hash nine plus int to into string our draws okay oh okay happy let's try it out boom no errors not all we not not that question as long as we did that one already there we go okay so there we go. You can see all the draws. Okay. So that's the, that's the data that we got from the two arrays. Now we need to ca calculate their losses. Now they said there are 38 games in a season. Well, this is easy. Our loss will just be the number of games in a season minus how many you won wins minus how many you drew our draws. And that whatever's left over will be your losses. Now, so at the end here, I'm going to scroll here. I'm actually going to say plus. I'm actually going to do this on a new line over here. And I'm going to say, well, yeah, we're going to say plus a hash nine plus. And you can do this on a new line. You see, it just continues plus the hash nine plus. We want to display our loss. But remember, our loss is an integer. We convert it from an int to a string so it can fit into the rich edit component to display. So let's display that. And display. So there we go. 38 minus 30 minus 3 is 5. Yeah, so they've only won 5 games. And they, as if you've only won 6 and drawn 6, that means you lost 26. Oh, same phrase, and You guys did really bad that season. Okay. And then last, we need the points. Now, if you remember from the question, the points said they get 3 points for a win. And one point for a draw. So the points variable, which they declared for me, is equal to the number of wins. Why is it ones? Times it by three. And we add, and then you take that, put it in brackets because you want to do bot maths, plus the number of draws multiplied by one. Now, to be honest, you don't even need to do that. You can just add the number of draws because whatever the number of draws is times one will be itself. So there's the number of points. And then at the display here, we're going to add another hash nine. To have another tab and now we want to display the points but points is a integer so we must convert from an int to a string there we go so let's see i think that'll be it display ah oh, there's our nice login you can see lincoln fc got 93 points and uh Frage Lane, oh, 24 oh, they got very few points and so on so there we go so there's our nice little log and it looks very similar to what they wanted me to display. If you look here, yep, that looks good. And that is the question done.
for the other videos in this video series go look at our youtube channel go find the other mock test questions and um, subscribe leave a comment we'd love to hear from you and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way